young and strong, and you work on the front lines. I'm actually in uh, special operations in the fire department. Um, I ride engine 29 rescue to unit 17, which is an ambulance. An emergency FD storyline extra, COVID on the front lines. Uh, my entire body felt awful. Uh, I started having a fever, massive headache, body ache, my joints hurt, my muscles were achy and twitchy. I was restless, I couldn't really find any comfortable position for myself. Um, and by day five, still feeling like this, uh, I lost my sense of taste and smell. Um, and it wasn't until about 11, almost 12 days to where the symptoms started to subside. And um, I started to sort of feel better and uh, the symptoms weren't really there at the same intensity. The only thing that really held me back from going back to work prior to this was just my strength wasn't there. For me on my job, the last thing I want to do is be a burden for other firefighters in the fire ground and not get, you know, at least 90%, close to 100% be able to do my job effectively. Hear the story of one firefighter's fight with COVID-19. He's not just any firefighter. This is the story of my son's experience and the positive moves his department made to stem the tide. Take it seriously, it's real. Wear your equipment, do what you're supposed to do by washing your hands, sanitize, keep yourself safe, your family safe, your coworkers safe, and the public safe. COVID on the Front Lines, an audio podcast. Check out the links below or go to our website. That's emergencyfd.com.